I shouldn't lie to you guys. I don't have zero kids. I feel like we're close now. I don't have zero kids. Um, about two years ago, I was trying to decide if I wanted to have a baby, so I got a starter kid. <laughs> yeah, I adopted um, one of those sponsor children off TV. Yeah, you know those little fridge kids? <laughs> if you're a woman in your 30s and you like to drink red wine alone, you'll order a kid. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> you ever open red wine by yourself? Oh, feels so sassy, doesn't it? You're alone at home thinking, I need to kick this party up a notch. <laughs> Pour that first glass of wine, you walk around the house, you feel like Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City. Look at me. Second glass, ooh, slippery slope. <laughs> the third glass is the one that kicks you over to... <laughs> What am I doing with my life? And that's where I was, and the commercial came on, and all the kids' faces were on TV, and I was overwhelmed with emotion, and I called, and I adopted a child. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> and forgot that I had adopted a child. <laughs> Zero recollection. Three weeks goes by. I get an envelope in the mail. Still don't piece it together. Return address said Compassion Canada. I was like, that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> and then I opened the letter and they had sent me a picture. And you know, the first time you look into your child's face. But I know what it's like to be a mother now. I know what you go through. I know it's expensive, um, $41 a month. And that's every month. They don't even let you skip a payment. I tried. But it changes you once you become a mother, doesn't it? It just, you're not just thinking about yourself. You're constantly thinking about your child and wondering, I hope they're okay, I hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was ready to talk about this. Um, last month he fell off the fridge. For minutes, I didn't know where he was. <laughs> I was freaking out. Uh, turns out he just slipped under. And <laughs> I got that crazy strength that you hear moms get, that adrenaline rush, right? I didn't lift the fridge, it was super heavy. Um, but there was a lot of dust built up, and I was like, Arr! and I pulled him out, and I brushed him off, as you do when your kids fall. And I put him back up on the fridge. And he's OK. But now he's got a little mark on his face. <laughs> and I know that's my fault, because I let him down as his mom. And I, I think it's cheese. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I just play it over and over again in my mind. Like, what could I do differently? What could I do differently? Uh, maybe don't keep the vodka in the freezer. Maybe that's a thing. <laughs> Maybe. I do.